Okay, today I was gonna talk to you about buying a, an AR for your wife, but I'm gonna change that. There's something that's a whole lot more important, and that is the real truth behind the ammo shortage. Everybody needs to really know what's going on. So tomorrow, I'm meeting with an ammo manufacturer uh, to discuss the ammo shortage. There's a real problem with this. I mean, we've been trying to buy ammo now for months. I'll tell you, again, I'm gonna give you a little bit of history on this before I tell you exactly what I found out. So, six weeks ago, I, no, eight weeks ago, about eight, about eight weeks ago, we had a jump from uh, nine millimeter. I saw it go from, for a, a dealer like us, from 276 to about $375 per thousand rounds. And uh, when I took uh, 2,000 rounds of ammo to, to be delivered, I told him, I said, I think it's getting ready to go up. I was told by this manufacturer that it was going to go to 80 cents a round. But I really didn't think it would go that high. So the very next order that this guy tried to make, my cost had gone from $375 per thousand and it jumped another probably 20%. We're a high volume dealer. So we, we, we deal a lot of ammo. Uh, I was finally able to get 6,000 rounds of ordered today, which is the first time I've been able to order that much ammo in three weeks. Um, but here's the truth of what's going on. So you, people are frustrated with their dealers. They're going, I'm not paying a dollar a round for 223, which this is 223, okay? And if you're paying a dollar a round, you are paying a little bit too much. That's 223. Right now, the XTAC 223 is going for between a dollar and a dollar 50 a round. You should be paying about 80 cents a round right now through a dealer because the prices have gone up significantly. Don't be mad at your dealer if they're charging you 80 cents a round. That's what it's costing them just to get it to you to, and to make any kind of profit at all. And I'm not begrudging of anybody that wants to make a profit. But here's what's happened. There's, this is the truth that we're not being told and the American public needs to know this. And I cannot believe that America is actually allowing this to happen. 80% of the Magnum primers and about 80% of some other parts that go into making ammo. If you don't know what a primer is, you know, you're probably not a gun fanatic. It's a little piece that goes behind the insert there, which uh, ignites when your pen hits it. That's the, that's the easiest way I can explain it to if you don't know what a, what a, a, a primer is. 80% of the Magnum primers and some of our brass parts are all made in Turkey. Let that sink in a second. They're not made in the United States. They're made in Turkey. Turkey has told us the first round of this was about six weeks ago. They shut down one of their main plants. The second main manufacturing plant in Turkey was apparently shut down about three weeks ago. The two places that manufacture most of what the U.S. imports to make our ammunition comes from Turkey. That's the real problem. The problem is Turkey said they've shut down their manufacturing plants to and we're not able to get the parts to make your ammo. So if you got a problem, don't be mad at your don't be mad at your gun dealer. Don't be really mad at your distributor. Let's be mad at the manufacturers and let's be mad at the import process that's been in place for years with the U.S. to import so much, much of our stuff from places that don't even like the U.S. Um, that's the real problem, though. That's what's going on behind the ammo shortage. Now, listen, there's a huge demand problem, right? Supply and demand was going to go up anyway, but the additional problem of those factories in Turkey shutting down, whatever you want to call it, pandemic, whatever you want to call it, that's the reason we've had this issue. Uh, look, please like and subscribe. I'm going to come to you with as much information as I can. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, I'm meeting with one of the man, major manufacturers. I'm going to find out if there's any way to uh, sidestep the, the distribution supply chain so we can get you ammo. Please like and subscribe, securityallstar.com. Thanks.